Hi, I'm Andrew Barta from Tech21, and we are here at the 2019 NAMM show. And we have a couple updated products and a couple new products for you. First product is the original flyer that we updated, has several new features, namely the fax loop, XLR out, then we have new effects in it. On the uh, overdrive channel, we have the Plexi and we have a California, so it changes the overdrive sound. You can hear it's the uh, California has more mid range, more beefy. We recommend to use that mostly with single coil guitars. And if you have a humbucker, we highly recommend to use the Plexi channel. It gives you more top end, more sparkle. The next stage is a boost stage that you can assign to pre or post boost. Let's try that. Okay, go ahead. I was switching between the two functions. First one was the pre boost that gives you more overdrive. The other one is the post boost, so if you play a lead, you can jump out from the background and you have more presence. The Sans amp is based on a blonde amplifier, and we have a speaker simulator that you can defeat. So if you want to use your own IRs, you can. It still gives you the Fender style sound, and if you kick in the overdrive, you can modify that further. So you have a lot of different tonal possibilities. We are going direct right now, so I'm not going to switch that in and out because it doesn't sound good, an overdrive without speaker sim, but we are we having it on continuously. Our next section is the delay, and on the delay we have a drift and a dotted eight version, so when you do a delay, that's right on the beat. And that's the daughter day. Uh, we also have a drift knob, so it gives you that tape echo, you know, flutter. And then um, the reverb now has two different modes a shorter one and a longer one, so you can choose what you want but you still have access to the uh, level pod, so you can adjust how much reverb. So if you hold down the blonde, you'll, you can access the tuner. And you can silently tune your guitar within seconds. And that's the updated uh, fly rig should be shipping uh, shortly. Next one is the uh, also an update for the Richie Cotton model. We added several new features, a compressor. The overdrive now includes also a button for buzz. Yes, I was quickly dialing in first the fuzz because that's a new sound that we have on this pedal. Also, when you combine it with the compressor, you can get like an infinite sustain. It's really nice. And they, uh, Richie requested that he wanted to have the Sans amp either permanently on or off. So he didn't want to have a foot switch for it because when he uses it, he uses it all the time. He doesn't switch it off. And the uh, foot switch now uh, is a uh, turning on and off the reverb, or if you hold it down, it can act, um, activate the tuner. On the delay, we have a new feature.
that's a Leslie simulator, and we added that because Richie does use a Leslie. So this way, it's right under your foot. It's easy to carry around. You don't have a big cabinet. We also had a lot of requests for going direct to the board, so we included the XLR. And uh, the XLR always has speaker SIM on. So if you turn up the speaker SIM because you're going to your amp, then you still gonna have speaker simulation go to the board, so you ready to go. And this rounds out the uh, Richie Godson uh, new model, V2. And then we're gonna be sh shipping that pretty much now. So it should be uh, coming to the stores near you soon. The next one is the uh, Paul Landers fly rig. This one cr was created specifically for the Rammstein sound that he is one of the guitar players. And he has a very unique, particular sound that melts together perfectly with the other guitar player. So we kept the same signal processing, which is the original Sans Amp, in this box. But we added a new channel, which is a clean channel. an instantaneous switching between the two channels. You're not building them or layering them, but you're switching in between. The channel one is called Wasser, which is water, and, it's, and channel two is Feuer, which is fire. So you're switching between the two. As you know, if you know Rammstein, there's a lot of fire going on, and sometimes you need the water to hold it down. Then we have a midship for the um, uh, the overdrive channel and also a boost that has a punch control in it so when you boost up your sound for like a lead you also can get more mid-range with the punch control <laughs> also have a negative boost that Paul requested so you can actually turn the boost down so uh, the actual total volume drops for certain uh, segments, you know, that's very useful. Then uh, in the delay section, uh, one of the new things we developed is a vibrato. It's tap tempo remote control. Of course, it has the tape delay in it. Now you can switch between tape delay or the vibrato. And uh, lastly, we have the ambience, which is a short reverb because he's using in-ear monitors and wanted to have a, a natural environment. So this is a short reverb, just gives you the ambience, but we have two sides, like a very, very small room and it's a small room. And this rounds out, oh, we have the XLR, but now all of our products, all the fly rigs have the XLR, so this is no exception. So that's the pole, lenders. Now we also have the power engine, that's, we boosted it for 200 watts, and it's a dual function, or actually more than dual, but you can play bass or guitar through it, keyboards, whatever you want. There's a lot of different sound uh, shaping ability it's, uh, it's on a faceplate, so it's self-explanatory. And lastly, but not least, we have the um, Gaddy Lee pedal. And we developed the uh, pedal after a lot of customers requested that they want to have a pedal version of the Gaddy Lee preamp. So the Gaddy Lee preamp is the same processing what is in his rack, but instead of two channels, what we did, we uh, included both channels in there, but put in a pod that can mix between the two. 
So all the way to the left, you're going to have a studio quality, very clean DI, but built in EQ curve that it's Getty sound. So you don't have to play around with EQs. You're getting Getty instantly, but it's a clean Getty. So when you want to put a little bit of a dirt in there, you blend in the channel too. And the combination of the two gives you a beautiful layer of Getty Lee sound. Even if you use a bass that is not a jazz bass, you can mix the sound out. We have a three band active EQ, so it gives you a lot of possibilities of different uh, shapes of tone. And this is our last product for the 2019 AMP show, but we're also announcing our 30 year anniversary. So we are in a party mood and hope to see you soon or write us. And uh, we can, you can visit us on our website is www.tech21nyc.com. Thank you.